Yes. Thank you. Two questions for you. Number one, uh, there have been some questions as part of your exam. I'm wondering if you talked to the president about this, about the president's mental fitness. He has pushed back on that, calling himself right. a staple genius. Can you assess the president's mental fitness for office? Absolutely. The president's personal doctor memorably said during the campaign that he would be the healthiest individual ever elected to the presidency. Do you agree with that assessment? Yes. 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 Um, there was an incident recently where the president appeared to slur his words while giving an address. Um, did you look into what the cause of that might have been at all? I did, yeah, we, we talked about that. I suggested that could be related to dentures. Does the president wear dentures? He, he mentioned does not. Dental exam. The president has no partial or dentures of any kind. Yes. I to ask you uh, two questions. One sure. is about the ejection fracture. Right. Um, my wife suffers from that, so that I, I, I clued in on the 60%. Is that a concern going forward for him? Is it because that, in some cases, indicates low activity? No, no, no. 60 to 65% is a normal ejection fraction. That's not. There's no concern about that at all. Second follow up on the cholesterol. Uh, over 220. Do you hope to get it under 200? Is in in any way uh, with the low? I, I understand that the blood pressure was within norms, but with the high cholesterol, are there any concerns for his heart health? No, not at all. Thank you. Could you just elaborate in layman's terms if possible, and you've been doing a great job at that, uh, uh, what you ruled out in these cognitive tests? Uh, you know, there have been reports that the president has forgotten names, that right. he's repeating himself. Are you yeah. ruling out uh, things like early onset Alzheimer's? Are you looking at dementia-like symptoms? And then a second question, um, a lot of doctors at the back end of a physical like to give their patients tips before they walk out the door, things that they should change in terms of lifestyle or behavior. What did you tell this president in it, outside of diet uh, that, that he might want to change? And the tips part, what did, you, did you recommend he make any changes, lifestyle, behavioral? Well, I, no, not really. I mean, I think that the main thing we, that we, we focused on with, with regards to lifestyle changes are diet and exercise. And, you know, uh, if, if we get diet and exercise right, then weight loss will come. Ask you a question that follows on the philosophy of, of the fitness of the president. Yes. Uh, the 25th Amendment, a lot of people in the country have been talking about it. It, it basically contemplates that a group of Senate confirmed laymen will weigh in on whether the president's able to discharge the duties of the office. So, you, as the president's position, have certainly given this some thought over right. the years that you've been in your role. Uh, on, on what basis would you, and this is just a philosophical question, advise the cabinet that the president is unable to discharge his duties? How does, how does that bar get met? that for the whole, I mean, you can't determine it well, four you know, years I, out, right? Yeah, I mean, I, absolutely. I don't, I, I don't have a crystal ball. I can't look into it. But, you know, based on his cardiac uh, assessment, you can make predictions. You know, you can you can make cardiac calculations and you can see what his uh, his risk of having a, a cardiac or a cerebrovascular event might be. And so if you look at that stuff where he falls out on his uh, cardiac assessment, uh, he, he, he falls into a category that portends, uh, you know, years of, you know, uh, of, you know, event-free, uh, you know, living. Yes, I'm sorry. So, uh, you talked about uh, dealing with uh, President Trump on a daily basis. Can you talk a bit about him as a patient, like what type of patient he is? Does he take all of your advice? And you also talked about, uh, since you were dealing with him on a daily basis, has he had any ongoing ailments or anything like that? You talked about giving him Sudafed. Sometimes it sounds like he has to sniff loose when he's talking. Yeah. Like, does he have any allergies or anything like that? Well, just to make sure we're clear on this, uh, when you analyze his cognitive ability or his mm -hmm. neurological functions, that is not the same thing as a psychiatric exam or a psychological exam. <coughs> it is not. No, it's a, uh, it's a screening assessment for cognitive impairment. Yeah, right. uh, yeah, Dr. Jackson, d does the president do anything at all right now in terms of exercise? What, what, what is his daily exercise routine if there is one? So, uh, so, so you said you said you were discussing that with him. What, what are you discussing? What would you like to see him start doing? Explaining how a guy who eats McDonald's and <laughs> fried chicks and all those diet cokes and who never exercises is in as good a shape as you say he's in. It's called genetics. I don't know. Um, you mentioned that you gave the president a cognitive test. Was that the mini mental state examination or the full state test? And if not, can you tell us? What specific cognitive test do you It was. Them? It was the Montreal Cognitive Assessment, sometimes referred to as the MOCA. And you can find it online. Okay. 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 Thanks very much. Just a couple of things. Um, do you have a life expectancy range for him based on his results? Um, number two, what exactly does the exercise and eating plan look like? Is it you're going to put an elliptical machine next to the, the bedroom and you're going to use it? What does that look like? And then also, number three, did you see any evidence of bone spurs, which the president said that he suffered from? Follow-up question. There isn't anything that's a part of the president's health records or uh, his overall uh, physical fitness or any medications 
that he's taking that you're not permitted to tell us? Is there anything you're keeping from us for privacy reasons? You say, um, given the president's age, he's somewhat of a peer to where President Reagan was um, at this time in his presidency. Can you say, given that there is scrutiny of what was overlooked at the time with President Reagan in terms of Alzheimer's and things he was then known to suffer right, from right. at a later date, can you say that whether the test that you ran would exclude any of those things and what the possibility of overlooking something like that would be? You know, how can you tell the American people that this time right. you're certain? I can, I can say that that test, uh, you know, uh, and, and I don't know uh, President Reagan's actual medical condition and I don't know what his condition was like toward the end of his presidency. I've read things and uh, seen the documentaries and stuff just like everybody here. But let's just assume that, there, you know, that, that he did have some you know, uh, evidence of cognitive uh, impairment toward the end of his presidency. Uh, I think that uh, I can reliably say and I think that the folks in the mental health uh, community out there would, would back me up on the fact that if he had uh, some type of mental uh, cognitive issue that this test is sensitive enough it would pick up on it. He would not have got 30 out of 30 on the test. So I'm very confident at this particular stage that he has nothing like that going on and like I said my personal experience uh, has been that he is very, he, that, that, that he is uh, he has absolutely no you know cognitive or uh, mental issues whatsoever that he is very sharp. A waist measurement for the president. His weight, I think he's at 239, right? That's, it seems, I think it's just shy of obesity, it right? Is, so yeah. it, talk a little bit about the diet here at the White House. Can you flesh that out a little bit? What specifically is he eating? Is he eating lots of chicken and fishes and white meat? And also, is, does he take any sleep aids? Can you say whether your prediction of, of good health and no serious events for years to come still holds if the president does not make changes to his diet and start to exercise? Is that still your professional medical opinion? And then also, can you just tell us how long the examination was sort of start to finish and how many people were involved? Thank you, Dr. Jackson. Um, was there anything that the president or anyone else specifically said for you not to mention today? Absolutely not. As a matter of fact, you know, there, there's a lot of things here. I was like, are you okay with me mentioning this? He's like, absolutely, I don't care. Uh, so, I, yeah, go ahead. Just follow up on that. Um, some of the president's friends have, have told reporters in the past that they think he's a germaphobe, that he washes his hands obsessively and is concerned about that. Have you, have you seen any indication um, of that type of behavior being around the president? Other OCD behaviors? Uh, any other OCD behaviors? Dr. How would you characterize the president's health to an average 71-year-old American male? I'd say, based on his cardiac assessment, hands down, there's no question that he is, uh, he, he is uh, in the excellent range. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, does the president, when the president has his colonoscopy at the next physical, uh, will he be sedated? Uh, that's going to be up to the president. Yeah. On the president's stress level in your conversations and uh, your examinations, uh, did he express any change uh, in how stressful this job or, or lack of stress that he has experienced as a result of becoming president? Yeah, he examined him and performed a, a, a cognitive assessment. Right. What is your take of uh, all the doctors and clinicians all across the country who have said that in this president they see symptoms of this, that, and the other? Symptoms in what way? Well, symptoms of dementia. Uh, symptoms of... I would say that, you know, the American Psychiatric Association has said so too. You know, I think that, uh, you know, you, the people shouldn't be making those kinds of assessments about the president unless they've had the opportunity to get to know him and examine him. And, you know, in my opinion, that's just tabloid psychiatry and I just don't, you know, I'm not going to address it or, or, or fall into, uh, you know, to, uh, uh, to responding to, to those kinds of uh, questions or accusations. So thank you. Um, you said he doesn't drink and he doesn't smoke and other than the, the diet issue, did you address drug addiction? Drug addiction? I mean, yeah. any, any other drugs? Yeah, no, no, he has, uh, he has no drug addiction.